Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. It's been a gloomy afternoon with showers and some downpours, even some hail across parts of the valley. But we're seeing a little sunshine trying to peek out from behind the clouds in effort as we glance off to the north and west. Still seeing some showers working through parts of Lancaster and uh, York counties. But most of us have seen the rain come to an end with the heaviest now working through far southeastern PA into Jersey. And we'll continue to see this trend as this area of low pressure moves east through the remainder of our Monday. You can still see some of those showers across uh, Berks County up close to Redding. And we still have a couple close to Lancaster and Route 30 just south of Route 30 uh, over the York uh, Lancaster County line. Not much rain now, but the heaviest did move through over the last uh, three hours or so, and that's where we did see some hail associated with some of that activity. This was sent in to us from Darlene Smith in New Holland. Darlene, thanks for sending this. It definitely uh, was one of those afternoons where we did have a little instability, enough organization in the atmosphere to spark up some of these isolated thunderstorms that, that again did produce some hail across some of the valley. In terms of the rain, though, Lancaster at least parts of Lancaster have seen over a half inch of rain. E-Town just about four tenths, a little less at uh, Harrisburg International Airport at just over 1500 with Cashtown only seeing 200. So it was kind of isolated who saw some of those heavier downpours and who didn't really get much rain at all. Temps are still feeling pretty good out there. 59 in Gettysburg, 50s as well, lower 50s now in Lebanon, still hanging on to the low 60s for those of you in Chambersburg. That's pretty nice for this time of the year. We fall back into the low to mid 50s still watching out for a few showers here through the remainder of the evening. Overnight, 30s to 40s under a mainly cloudy sky. It'll be breezy out there from the northwest. That's going to start to usher in some of that cooler air. And then tomorrow, we will be cooler back into the low to mid 50s for our afternoon readings. May see a spotty sprinkle, but chances are really limited. That's thanks to a storm system moving by just to our south, higher upstairs in the atmosphere. I think better chances across Virginia and Maryland. Printer does show the clouds thinning a little bit, but they move back in with a little bit of a spin, a little energy upstairs in the atmosphere. So that's why we have the clouds lingering for the overnight. Then tomorrow, we'll call it a mixture of clouds and sunshine with temperatures again with the help of the breeze. Chill watching out for just a stray shower on predictor, but you can see really not much, if any, rainfall on the table for us here across the southern portion of the Commonwealth. And with that, we have a pretty cool astronomical phenomena. Five planets in the sky later on Tuesday. If you look west to the southwest, and I think with a little bit of that cloud cover thinning, should be pretty good. Hopefully you can capture uh, some of that across the area. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast shows temperatures rebounding a little bit on Wednesday ahead of a cold front that looks to move through overnight. That may bring a couple of showers and a cool down, a slight cool down on Thursday as high pressure briefly builds in. We'll have some more sunshine. Then we're focusing on Friday into the weekend. That's when our next storm system moves in, bring showers late Friday. And yes, the chance for showers and thunderstorms on Sunday with high spring like back close to 70 behind it. A big cool down on Sunday. Pat. Okay.